Hi, I'm Randy from Rockwell Woodworking. In today's video, we're going to be making a hat rack. It's pretty easy to make. And if you're anything like me, you have lots of hats lying around. I got them in my closet, I got them in storage bins, and I never seem to find a hat that I want or look for. I just grab the hat that's on the top of the box or the bin. So this is going to make it easy and simple to find your hat and have them all assorted and all in one place together. The first thing we have to do is cut our board that we're going to use for our side rails to the length that you want. I'm going to cut my board at 36 inches, which is going to give me about 10 hats per board. Now I just used some 1x4 spruce that I had lying around the workshop. Now that we have our boards marked out to the length that you want it, we're going to mark out the holes. I have a template for this in the description below. So we're just going to put a little mark in the center of each hole so we know where to drill each hole for, with the drill press. Now we got to do the same thing with the second board. Now I'm just going to bring my boards over here to the drill press where I'm going to drill out each hole using an inch and a half Forstner bit. I've got my stop lock aligned the back. As I drill each hole, I know they'll be the same distance from the edge. And as I drill set each hole, just put a couple clamps on the board so it doesn't move. Now we got it over to a router table. We're going to use a quarter inch round over bit and we're going to round off the top, the bottom, and the front. Do not use the router on the back. So now we're going to cut out our slots where it slides in each hat. So I'm just going to take my square, cut it on a 45 degree angle, and mark all of the bottom. Next I'm just going to take my spacer, I just cut out a little spacer about one inch, one inch thick. So my groove inside is going to be one inch thick. The next thing I did was take my boards over to my blade runner saw, something like a band saw, and I just cut out each strip where the hat slides in. Now, fortunately, I did this and the camera wasn't on record. The only other boards you need for this project is a top board and a bottom board. I'm going to make mine at 10 inches, but you can make yours to whatever weight that you want your hat rack. Now I'm 
going to give all the boards a light sanding. Thank you.